Here we are, fishing friends. We're out on the conga. Me and Brett, say hello, wing wingman. Hi, guys. Before I do anything else, because I'm going to have to look a bit more professional here. Hang on a second. How's that? That's better, mate. Yeah? Do I look intelligent? Yeah. How 100%. Much? Right, okay. So here we are. We're, we're down at, um, we're down on the Tamar tonight, just on a little local mark. And yeah, conga series. I mean, conga fishing has been pretty poor so far, but I, I firmly believe it's everything to do with the weather. It's been a really mild winter so far. We haven't had those deep freezes for days and days where the estuaries and rivers get chilled down at low tide and then the water comes back in, blah, blah, blah. That's all, all part of the winter cycle. So, I mean, most, most fishing we do, we, we talk about ground bait. Now you've seen my mullet, you know, we've, we've ground baited for mullet and I believe we've done a bit on the wrasse. Uh, and we've done a bit on the bass as well, haven't we? That's right. And yeah, so, so you know, ground bait, and we, we ground bait for most things, and conga are no exception. So what we tend to do is, say on the end of a previous session, if, if a lot of people, they just throw their bait in the tide. Well, we don't do that, not because we're tight, but we'd, I'd rather put it in the freezer and know that it's going off and it's no good for bait. And then when we get like a, you know, obviously like a compartment full of stinking mackerel or whatever, we're bringing it along and we'll either chop it up into bits or we'll just bung it in at low tide. So if you're gonna bung stuff in, always be aware that you, you're gonna to have to do it at, obviously at the bottom or the top of the tide because if you're fishing in any sort of depth, obviously if you're gonna throw a bit of fish in, it's gonna start here and it's probably gonna end up over here, which is not where you're fishing, yeah? So think about that, think about the tide system, uh, tides and everything. And in here, look, I have got some stinking cuttlefish, all right? I know it's stinking because <laughs> I left it in the fridge for a little bit too long. And this was months ago, right? Yeah, right, we'll get rid of all this rubbish. And yeah, so there we go. And there's Mate, a bit of smelly vision that is. <laughs> look, there's cart in there, look. So we'll, I'll, obviously this ain't going in the tide, so we'll, we'll sort this out. Look, and there's, there's, a, look, there's a Brucey bonus, look, a bead. <laughs> right, okay, so this is, to all intents and purposes, pink, yeah? So like squid, when it goes pink, stinky pink, we call it. It's still actually a good bait because, and there's a bit of squid there, look. Because if you think about it, I mean, I we like to use fresh day caught bait, if you like, in all our fishing, mackerel, squid, cuttlefish, it's all gotta be really fresh. Fresh bait is the key to decent fishing, right? But on the other hand, th this stuff here, you see, is also gonna be appealing to any scavenger down there, because if you think about it, it's naturally decomposing. So obviously these, you know, these cephalopods, be it squid, cuttlefish, whatever, they, they, they've only got a limited lifespan, a year or two, and they die. Uh, and that's when you see all the cuttles, you know, the, all, all the bits on the beaches and stuff, you know, and that's where it comes from. So, you know, let's not discard that as a bait, but I'm just saying, you know, I like to use, well, we, we use fresh bait and, more often than not, you know, that stuff there goes in the tide uh, at the start of a session. So before we even start, we'll, we'll get everything out that we don't want and we'll bung it in and we get ready and everything else, make up your rods. And then, you know, five minutes in, you've already got bait down there and that's already being dispersed, you know, with the tide and everything. And, you know, and this stuff is really smelly, you know. Uh, you know, it's got a real good smell anyway, cut off fish and squid. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't like to you know, I wouldn't like to sort of mess around with that too much. So yeah, we're just gonna throw that in the tide and see if we can't get anything sort of feeding. And another bonus is it keeps, it, you, you kind of pay off the crabs as well. So if there's crabs down there, you know, if, if it's round where you're fishing, they're more likely to sort of home in on this because obviously it's gonna smell differently to the fresh offering that you put down there. So yeah, that was just a little bit today about that. And I'm just about to cast in the Naga, I've got the beautiful Competition Match GT out here today, which I haven't hardly ever used. You know, I've literally used it a few times. Um, I don't think we've had a decent eel on it yet, have we? No. Nope. It hasn't been great, you know. I've been, oh, it's a bit of a firework there. And, you know, I've been busy guiding, you know, I, I'm a shore guide and I've been taking people out in the congas. And yeah, we've had some straps up to sort of, you know, low doubles or whatever, but it's just not, the, the fishing hasn't been there yet. So we're, we're hoping it improves. So there's my bait there, look. And what I've done is, it's a cuttle bait. That's my favorite bait. That's what you'll always see me using. That's my choice bait. If, if I've got a choice, it's cuttlefish. If not, mackerel, right? And you can see there the crab cart. Yeah, so all I've done is I've got a wing up there on the side. 
you know, a big fat wing. And you can get like five or six baits out of this, out of one wing. And you can see there, look, that is pure crab eggs, right? So that is an edible brown crab, and that is at its peak condition. And all I've done is, uh, after I've bound on the, the cuttle quite securely, all I've done is put a little slither on there and I've just bound it over. And that will create a really big a slick, an oil slick, because it's very oily. And it's also obviously crab, you know, it's like a giant peeler crab. If you can imagine an edible crab when it's peeling, no different than a shore crab, it's just 20 times bigger. So that's why crab cart's so good. It's, it is natural, you know, it's full of amino acids, full of oils, and the fish, the fish will know that that's there, you know? So not only have you got the cuttlefish there, which is in itself is the best bait, but you've also got a little cocktail of, of cart. And that is my top tip, right? Get yourself some cart in the freezer. You only need to take out one wing on a session, and that is enough for one session, one wing. That is all you need, my friends. That's the Brucey bonus. That is the Brucey bonus right there. All right. So don't discard it. Give it a try. Yeah. And I'm, I promise you, eels love cart. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna cast this out now, and uh, hopefully we might get a bit of action on the nagger or the or, or the competition match. Or Brett's got two rods out as well here tonight. So yeah, we're we're quite confident. It's a lovely evening. We're about I don't know what two hours before low, and uh, yeah, we'll just. Uh, see what's out there and hopefully we can get a bit of action and show you a few eels on these on these nice baits so tight lines later guys just like you're trying to put the rods out <laughs> rolling yeah here we are this has been out there what five minutes brett yeah with the cart not a big eel I say the nag is bent nicely, mate. Yeah. It's only a small eel, but it just shows you. Just literally just got here. And there she is, nice little stickle back. Alright, you stay there, mate. I'm sure I can handle this one on my own. I'm just gonna handball this one in. Too easy when you're on your own. All right, darling. So here we are down on the building site. <laughs> and there you go. Nice little strap from the Tamar. And you can see he's got my he's got my cut on cart bait firmly down his gob there. Look, because he's a greedy little git. All right. <laughs> You wouldn't believe it, would you? So there you go, look, it's only, a, it's only a small eel. I don't know what, seven, I don't know, seven pound maybe? Something like that, but you know. We only just started, son. <laughs> we only just started. <laughs> so there you go, that's one nil to me, wingman. <laughs> Tight lines. Right, here we are. We've got, we think we've got a good, good bite on here. I've just noticed it, there's weed out there as well. But Brett's saying it's pulling over quite strong. Mate, I hope you get it. It's about time we've seen you holding up a nice slime shady, isn't it? It would be nice, mate. All right, hope you're concentrating there. <laughs> Poised. Come on, mate, don't let this be your nemesis. She's still there, she's still there, good mate. Yes, mate. No. Oh. Ah. Oh, unlucky, mate. Just a little bit too early. Yeah. Right. Well, you know what's going to happen, don't you? Get her back out there. Let's have a look at the bait. Yeah, she's still good. Look. Right. She got a bit of cut. Get her cut. Get. That's the good boy, man. I was just about to say. Took the words right out of my mouth. Get the cart out. So here, this has come back now. Look. Is that was a brand new trace. Yep. So, the best thing to do now, yeah, look, the first thing Brett's done there is check his hook. And that's me getting on him all the time. So now he's like second nature and that, that really makes a difference. You've got to check your hook. You know, if, you pay, if you're fishing places like this, man, 
you know, anywhere in the Tamar it is snaggy. And the chances are, you know, I've already changed one up tonight as it is. Last of the cart going on. Yeah. My light's a bit bright there. Oh, it's yours, I think. Got a bit bright, bright mate. I'm yeah, a bit yeah, blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting old, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Yeah. I'll just... I might have to borrow your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear glasses. <laughs> right, so there, look. Basic stuff. He's just literally put a nice blob of that on there. And that is full of aminos, full of oil. What, and it only takes what? Yeah, what's that taking you? A minute. A minute. A minute to win it. Hey, I look, and check out Brett's weights, look. They have been laughed at before by some. Unfairly, I must say. Um, it's basically, what is it? It's just a little pipe, isn't it? With a middle filled in with cement. Cement, yeah. And, you know, you're talking in a little loop in there, look. Seven ounces. Seven ounces. And for some reason, they seem to come back better than normal weights, don't they? You don't yeah. lose as many. So get on, mate. Right, here we go. Round two. Come on, you can do it. Because I, I had a second chance to that other thing. Right, tight lines. So here we are, hand lining, congas. I almost had a 20 out just now, and it's obviously it went a bit wrong. I stood on it. There's a little monkey down here, just poked his nose out. Oh, you rod, 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 rod. Still filming? Yeah. What we saying, mate? Well, that was a bit unexpected. Trying to handline out of Congo, and then uh, the beautiful competition match GT <laughs> almost went for a swing. <laughs> Looks like she's a good fish as well, mate. No, no, no. It's only probably, probably not even a double, mate. No, no fight in it. Not much, anyway. Yeah, another similar size. Right. I'll hold the rod up, mate. Right. Another small one. Looks like the same one. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. There we go, there's another little strapper. Number two, but it's nothing compared to what I've just hand lined. Hand lined. Out of here, man. It was just amazing. So there you go. On the uh, cart and cut on that one is lovely, look. Pinned right through the lip. So that one's just gonna come off really, really easy. So that's absolutely lovely for us because we can just simply just T-bar this one off. You got the T-bar, mate, somewhere, haven't you? There you go, sir. Thank you. We'll just get that one in there inverter and then she'll do the rest of the work herself look so there you go that's a that's the t-bar there's another one going down there's another one of my pets <laughs> yeah nice number two so here we are brett's just had a bite just waiting for the tentative sign. i mean we've just had i mean what we've just done was incredible i mean you know hand line in a conger out twice i mean that was just for me, I'm, I'm buzzing. I wish I could tell you how buzzing I am now. Is it a slow one or a, or a uh, rattly? Yeah, probably a strap just investigated. Right. So we've had a, I mean, I've had a couple of eels out now and they've both been around probably about the seven pound mark, you know, tiny. Tiny for us anyway. See so yeah, how we put this one back down now. Patience is a game. Patience is a virtue, sir. You can never be too hasty. Nope. So here we are. All right, we've just had another little slow bite here. We've had to raise the rod right up. Because there's a lot of weed on this back eddy. Oh, yeah, there you go, mate. Pick the rod up, pick the rod up. 
There you go. Rat it off. Tense moments. There's a good eel down there. I don't know if that was it. That looked a bit fast to me, Brett. No, don't move it. Come on, mate. Hang on, mate, hang on. Give it a little bit longer before you put the rod back down. He was keen. Obviously he didn't like my mustard. <laughs> he didn't quite cut the mustard. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go, mate. Here we go. Go on, mate. No, stop, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's a stickle, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, bugger. A small one. He's let, go. He's, he's let go. Unlucky, mate. Well, you have two pass. Hand line in, there's a conger eel down here. Is there? Yeah, mate. Can we see him? Hang on, we'll get out in a minute. It's not small either. Wait till you see it, mate. Oh yeah, he just, 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 he just... Look, 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 look. Look, 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 he's got it. He's got it, has he? Get your hands wrapped around that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Get out of the way, mate. It's a fucking, it's a 20. <laughs> you just step. I'm right, I'm right. Oh, shit, my finger. Is he off? Yeah, he's off, mate. Just done my finger in, man. <laughs> 20 pounder. <laughs> Mate, I almost had it. Watch this. Oh, look, 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 it's bent the hook. <laughs> right, I'm, mate, I'm having this, I'm having this one. He's actually cut me. Look. <sighs> Mate, you do not do that to the bass, man. Get away with it. Mate, that was nuts, wasn't it? It's 20 pound, that is, mate. <laughs> oh my god. Handlining for Conga. Anybody? Oh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's gone in there sulking now. You've pissed him off, mate. Mate, that was, <laughs> mate, that was a Sakuma. That was a Sakuma 8 0 O'Shaughnessy. I almost had it, mate. But I, I stumbled here and I stood on it. <laughs> <laughs> I stood on the bloody... I didn't still stood right on it, but I stood on it. I thought you was going over. I had to stop you from... No, no. <laughs> rods, mate. I felt it's just... Mate. If I'd have had gloves on, I'd have had him out. Come on, where is he? He's under there somewhere. Did you see it, though? It just went... No, I, I, you didn't, I didn't I, get that. Bit. I, I got, I got you, got you. I, I think I see you having him, but I couldn't really see because there was a lot of weed, mate. Yeah. Did you see the fish? Did you when I brought it out? I don't know until I look at the video. I'm still right. filming. Right. <laughs> right. It's... Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, mate? I'm just going for this handline job again. You're not trying for that beast again. Yeah, mate. Mate, that was twenty pound that eel. I've just seen a head pop out. Oh yeah. You are on, as well. Mate. Right, this time, you getting this? Come on! Keep on walking it, mate. Get up here, you bugger. Go on, out my way. <laughs> Go on, keep on going. Mate. Keep on going. Right. Yes! Yeah. 
<laughs> <There you go. laughs> what you got to say about that? You're the man. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, only on a YouTube channel. <laughs> You made a right mess of my hand. I wasn't going to get beaten up again like that. I mean, that that's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Do you, uh, do, do, do you want to try and wear? Mate. I've got the sack in the bag. Look at this, look at the width of it. She's she's a good. All right, and she's going to touch 19, 17, 18. Look at the width on that. Yeah, she's not she's quite a, length, is she? But I don't think she's a 20, mate, but no. she ain't far off it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the scales out and the bag out, I think. Should we get a picture of her hoisted up? Hang on, what about our rods here? Mate, my nagger's locked up. We just nearly lost the competition match GT with that last little seven pounder came out. We was down here like that and Brent saying, Paul, pull your rod. And he, luckily he's grabbed it. Oh my God. But look at that, man. She's actually got, look at the head. Though. The head's actually quite small compared to the body. Look at the size of the body on it, man. Mate, yeah, it's, uh, she's a big, look, big fat beast. Look, small head and a big, yeah. <laughs> Filming. Well, here we are. One hand line conga. She did me once, but she wasn't going to do me again. Even with a bent hook, I just bent the hook back in. What a beast. Look at that, man. This fish is going to be a very big eel when she grows up or he grows up. She's actually got quite a small head for the size of the body. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's really yeah. like. Wait, 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 wait. All right, darling. All right, darling. Yeah, the midsection is. Pretty impressive on this girl, like you know, she's she's, she's not far. Nice girl, isn't she? Yeah, she's not far off 19. So there you go, hand lined, hundred pound line, nice lump of cattle, and a 80 hook and a cheeky bass man. Yes, mate. <laughs> yes, mate. Slime shady. So should we put her back? Yeah, mate. All right, follow me down, mate. Eey. And this, that was epic coming along here, wasn't it? With all yeah. that commotion. Right, give me some light, brother. Really slippery down here. Oop, 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 oop. Right, let's go for right here, yeah? Yeah, right there. And I'll put her in, she'll reverse out. She'll do a big wheels here, it's reversing. Watch this. Wait. There you go, darling. So we'll just put her there. Her tail already knows it's in the water, look. There we go. Classic. Oh. There you go, look. I mean, these, well, there's another eel to my left here. I could just steer it. These eels are bulletproof. You don't have uh, to. Oh, yeah, she's gone, mate. You don't have to worry about, you know, keeping them out of the water. You can keep her out in the water for a day, man, and they won't die. They are the top predator in these waters, and you can see the fight on that on the hand line was incredible. That thing was just doing Power. everything it could to get off. And the first time I made a mistake, I didn't quite get her up on the slab. But I don't make the same mistake twice, mate. <laughs> Conga one, Bassman one. <laughs>